Hello everyone. Welcome to the class of Decision Tree Ensembles Bagging and Boosting. This course is an extension of an earlier course of Introduction to Ensembles Random Forest. In this course, we will learn about two more ensemble techniques from a decision tree, namely bagging and boosting. The required background, if you are wondering about what should be your uh, background to take this class. This you should be familiar with basic statistics with some exposure to regression and classification techniques. It would be ideal if you have taken the random forest class as well since uh, there will be many concepts here which I will just briefly touch upon which have been explained in detail in the earlier class. Module Roadmap in this course is divided into two major modules. In module 1, we will discuss about theory of decision tree ensembles. This is further divided into discussion of bias variance trade-off. We will discuss why we need ensemble instead of a single decision tree and this is very important to understand the, this trade-off. Second, we will talk about bagging or bootstrap aggregating and third, we will discuss about boosting. In module 2, we will have our hands-on practice session in R. Now before we really get into bagging and boosting, I would like to have a quick recap of machine learning. Machine learning is a very important concept and it is the fastest growing field in computer science and uh, it is very important to understand and have a thorough grasp on machine learning as these are in demand and also all of these uh, techniques they fall under machine learning. Um, in any ways, so machine learning is all about automating automation. There are uh, examples like voice recognition, speech recognition, image classification, or say driverless Google car. Those are all examples where machine learning had been applied and are huge success. There are four types of learning. They are uh, supervised, unsupervised, semi-supervised, and reinforcement learning. However, supervised and unsupervised techniques are the major area of machine learning. For supervised, we already have a training data set where class levels like hired versus non-hired or say fraud versus non-fraud or spam versus non-spam, those levels are present. So when we build our model uh, to predict future classes and we know wh wh what these classes are in our training data, this type of learning is known as supervised learning. The other major area is unsupervised learning where this type of supervision or training data set with labels is not present. Today's discussion on bagging and boosting, they fall under supervised machine learning. That means that in our training data set, we already have class levels present. Other than the learning techniques, every machine learning algorithm has three components. They are representation or model, that is what type of model you are working on. They could be a single decision tree, multiple decision tree, or say a support vector machine or neural net. So first that you have to decide upon the representation or model. However, the cross crop computing is optimization. So you have to have an optimization algorithm, which is the heart of machine learning. And this optimization could be a convex optimization and you can use techniques like gradient descent or stochastic gradient descent. And uh, 
also it is very important to know about validation metric so validation metric is useful to find the accuracy of a learning algorithm this uh, metric will tell you how accurate this learning algorithm is what is the classification accuracy see so some of the useful validation metrics are out of bag error or cross validation error confusion matrix reciper operator characteristic curve or roc curve now um, i would also like to talk very briefly about a single decision tree now single decision tree is a popular learning method for data exploration they can be used for both classification and regression purposes however it is important to understand the difference when a decision tree is used for classification versus when it is used for regression purposes because the main metric that the optimization parameter that they look for when they are used in classification or regression are very different to decide on you know which variable to make a split on so basically decision tree is nothing but a collection of one or more if then else statements for the predictors that partition the data now within the partitions a model is used to predict the outcome decision trees can handle both categorical and numerical data single decision tree algorithm had been present for a while they came up in 70s and some of the core algorithms are id3 c4.5 then classification and regression tree or cart ensemble techniques are a little more you know recent time ones and ensemble techniques came into picture in 90s now let's talk about model ensemble what is the basic idea behind model ensemble so in model ensemble instead of learning only one model we will learn several model and we will combine them to come at the final decision the accuracy gets improved by a huge amount due to bias variance trade off we will talk about bias variance trade off in detail in next section the major examples of decision tree ensembles are bagging random forest which is an extension of bagging boosting stacking etc now let's talk about what are the disadvantages of decision tree so individual decision tree they suffer from instability and high variance so in together because of these two factors the accuracy gets lower in a single decision tree hence the rise of decision tree ensemble of using multiple learners accuracy gets improved due to bias variance trade off now let's try to understand how an ensemble classifier works so the diagram on your screen will give you an idea of how uh, this ensemble classifier works so you have the input features input features are your exploratory variables you can think of each of this classifier 1 to n as one single decision tree so each single decision tree it's making its own prediction its own class prediction now you have in class prediction if they are trying to determine if a particular record is or a particular credit card transaction is fraud or non fraudulent and finally if you combine all the 500 decisions or class predictions meaning them i am taking the majority voting decision and i am coming to the final class prediction so this is the basic task of the ensemble classifier
Next, we will talk about bias variance trade-off in machine learning.